Hello, here's a video in which I, Nick, will show you a review of the LEGO Legend of Chima Speed Door set and uh, 70107 and the name isn't listed here but I think it was Skunk Attack so 70107 Skunk Attack um, here's the package this time around I'm not going to waste your time waste your guys time just by spending a quarter just to open the package so I'll just give you a quick look here you can also see the pictures on the other sides and then I'm just going to do this Ta-da! here is everything out of the package everything that was included in the package um, we have the ripcord this time it is red don't know why I mostly think red is the evil color in China but I think it is just random um, here we have the cards of skin it I'm going to talk about these cards after they're opened here is the not fully assembled speed doors and I think I think it is just a recolor and repaint of the wolves speed doors for the shape but I have nothing to compare so I'm not sure so you can look that up for yourself but I think it is just a wolf one here is the front picture which you have already seen uh, here are the parts a uh, little ball here, some blue parts and mostly grey and black, some green also and here are the small parts which include more different parts red also here and more green and a little brown and of course the chi crystals so that's it for now and then I'm going to the next stage in which everything is assembled Tada again so here we have the whole set assembled so I'll just give you a quick look around before starting with the real review here is what is included and uh, so here is Skinner Skin it. <laughs> and I really like Skinnet because unlike I need to change this because unlike most other uh, characters of Legend of Chima it isn't one of these royal beasts with whole armies Skinnet is just a standalone fighter uh, improvising with what he can get from nature to try uh, to attack to make a stand in the war of China so he has to do with what he can get uh, outside and I don't see him having his castle or being a prince he's just uh, one character that wanders around and uh, just tries to get himself into the fight and try to win so about the figure in the actual set so here is Skinner skin it <laughs> uh, from the side from this angle here's he from this angle here's skin it from this angle and this angle but from this angle there's a little gap in the tail well uh, most of you guys wouldn't like this gap but to me personally it doesn't even matter I think this is just pretty good to good enough to make it look credible and to not scratch on the paint of this here and uh, also to not bend it too f uh, too fast when you put it on the wrong thing. So I think this is just good enough for me. I'm just happy with this tail. It doesn't really attach. It could have been better, but it is it is not bad it is worse than the best but not bad so the tail is alright and for color scheme I think too it looks like the color scheme of um, 
of real skunks. Only thing I don't really like is this white here. I mean, it would have gone with the white on his belly, uh, on his on his torso, but it is a very different color of white. So it's kind of white square stripe here, and I don't really like that. But apart from that, we go to the legs here. So the legs here have uh, these uh, printed feet, clawed feet, which are actually only white print with some uh, uh, black triangles in it to represent uh, tails, nails, <laughs> nails. And then here's some fur on his knees. And then he wears a uh, he wears some pants, some short pants made out of uh, leaves or, or plants, and that is why this whole piece, the hip piece, is green. There seems to be a pocket in it, and there seems to be a a part sticking out to cover everything, and a little band here to attach it. And then we go to another band, which is around here, which is fully around his torso, just to attach this part here, which is empty now, but there can be placed chi inside of there. So, yes, this whole structure, no armor, just this around, bound around himself with some plants, to give him a place to hold a chi orb. Then on the back, we see the other side of this band around him. And just some stripes to represent his skunk being tr two white stripes. And here is also a white belly. Then we go to the head and I really like the head of this one. Just look how, how bright white this is. This is not the normal white and black but this is really good white. Uh, this mouth is... Uh, it's okay, it's, it goes with the character, I guess. Nose is here, it's really nice painted onto there. I mean, just the angles of it, how it works. This here, this fur in the ears. This stripe looks awesome. Then we go to the... This looks just dumb. This is not really Chima anymore. Here he is, smiling. Uh, that looks kind of odd, but you just need to keep the helmet on. Uh, I'll see if I can... You can turn the head this much because of the tail. So, it's a pretty good figure and the head I like especially. So, I think this is just one of my favorite figures. Um, even though he has this gap here, but I don't really care about the gap. Uh, then he has this little whip. Just a normal whip piece, not really much to explain about this. It looks nice, but it's just a normal whip, so I'm not going to talk about it anymore. After this, um, before going to the rest, I'll quickly show you the spare parts here. Just some small spare parts you get with this set. Not really a reason to buy it, but it is something. Uh, this red ripcord, so put that aside too because it's just part of the game and then I'll go to the cards before starting with the actual set uh, this card looks nice with the whip really nice representation of the whip so I'm a rope on it and it's just called whip but spelled wrong nice how skin it looks there and this here also looks awesome level taking it up against a lot of uh, a whole army or group of wolves, a wolf pack. Then skin is coming to help him with the gas hunter. We four uh, W four. Your skin it's normal cards, his character card. He is he has listed all tribes here. That is kind of awesome. Uh, so you can use this one with a lot of tribes. Uh, and he, I think this means he can actually use all cards. Skin it, you can use all cards. That is just awesome. He's a friend of everybody. What is he? A bounty hunter or something? Here he, he has his construction 
in the construction form in the background maybe uh, the second wave of construction will be coming up with a lot more species like the skunks and the foxes that are step by step being uh, released so that will be awesome he looks really awesome as a uh, as a construction and he has the big clawed hands so I'm really looking forward to having skin it as a construction figure and then here he has the toxic smell with some wolves he just counted with these plants and also this one here is called the stinky hug with the construction so these are the cards I'll put them aside then here we got some more chi orbs for playing the game just uh, six of them, nothing special about there. And now we go to the actual set. And he lost his little chi ball there. So here is Skinned Speed Horse, and it really looks nice. Here, here has the uh, same band as Skinned with the little opening for chi orb. I uh, hope you can see it on camera after the camera zooms in. No, the camera won't zoom in. And uh, it has to represent eyes, so this it will be cool if there was chi inside her. Then it had glowing eyes and stuff. Now it zooms in. Now you can see it. A uh, nice fur here, just by showing by cracks into the metal structure that represents fur. And here are some markings. So that's actually it. Then he has some. Stabilizers, which are just these plants, but they are really smelly plants or toxic plants, so we can use them to actually attack his enemies when he's in front of them. So nice add on, and it really looks like it is stabilizing him. And then that is his speed horse itself. Then here is Skinnet's other weapon, which is actually, I think, the worst, just the most simple and least powerful main weapon of all the Chima Speed Horse sets. Camera is still zooming in. I think you can just do nothing with it. It is just a normal wooden spear with a little bit chi power and some some wheat on it. That is just. I mean, it goes with the character of Skinnet, but it's a really awful weapon, but it goes with the character, so it's a good choice there. So, I'm okay, I'm okay with it, even though it is really, really dumb weapon, actually. So, let's take aside his whip, and Skinnet is left-handed, for as far as I've seen, so we put him in his left hand. In front of the camera. Then we are going to put him on his speed horse, and we are going how to see how that looks like. I think this is the part where the gap of the tail is useful, I don't really know. Here, I think the gap really helps out here, because if you push him too much right now, you will break the tail or bend it when you, uh, uh, when you just push him too much, if it didn't have the gap. So, it's a good thing they put a gap in there. So if you let him sit on something, the tail won't break off. And the gap isn't really that annoying, so nice to see Skinnet here. Uh, he looks good on his speed horse. It's a really amateur or uh, uh, improvised style. Really old style of Chima it looks like from from the first days of Chima inventing things uh, but it's still it just goes with the character and his position so it's it's all nice it's actually a re really good representation of that one thing I don't really like is that the ears go in the way of the hand so you really need to put the weapons fully upwards like this or just also put them to the side that is kind of awkward but uh, that's uh, that's just to the side. I don't really know how the whip is going to push anyone off his speed or But you need to use some imagination with that Then here we go to the actual main 
stuff of this set. Here we have the wolf head and here we have the improvised plant thing. The hill, the, 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 the just that thing. Um, it uh, has some uh, studs on here, just some uh, plain open studs in green. It, it has to represent some kind of vegetation, some plant. I don't really know what plant looks like this, but there are probably enough plants I don't know about that look like this. Here there are some teeth. I, that's really strange. I don't know a plant looking like teeth. And then there are some completely different vines coming from here. So it looks like this part of plants and the, uh, vegetation here and a little wood is just completely consisting out of three different kinds of plants. So kind of weird I would have done with just less different detail just go for one style but it looks good if you don't think about it being different plants so if you just don't think about it it looks good then here is some metal plate I think skin it it is skin it right yeah skin it put onto it uh, this will be metal and this will be vegetation they put it on it so just find this vegetation and put a metal plate on it so they can use the speed horse I've seen that before in the speed horse sets and then here is a part that is actually not property of skin it but this is something skin it or rented from the wolves or stole from the wolves or it's just in the middle of the jungle of Chima and he is free to use it it's one of these things and it is a nice looking wolf hat actually it looks much nicer than on the picture it is really I really like this wolf hat it's one of my favorite Chima targets I know of it's a really good looking wolf hat just these ears and the eyes and nose it, it looks really good so if you are just buying this to get this thing, uh, it, it is, uh, I can understand that because this, this wolf head just looks awesome and then with this target it looks really professional in contrast to the other stuff in this set. So you need to hit the target and then uh, the force of hitting the target <laughs> we all somehow get the chi orb out or you just need to take it out of the wolf mouth. But when you actually hit it, I think it will just fly out. And then the first one, this time I actually did read the instructions and understand how the game one it goes. So you both uh, launch your speed doors, targeting it, and it doesn't matter who hits it, but it is about when it is hit. The first one to grab the G orb can pick a card from his pal and. Just pick a card and then you have a card and uh, you can just choose one of these things I I'd go for this one uh, the 50 and then you s just say uh, and you go for the green one and then the other one picks a card and if he has more then you lose uh, then, then you lose and then he wins and he gets two chi orbs and when you you are higher you get chi two chi orbs and then the one with the first one with I don't know something like um, four T orbs or anything like that is the winner, and uh, you can also whenever you pick the card, uh, say you go for this uh, red one because you have a good feeling about it, but you think you need these ten, just offer you just sacrifice one of your T uh, crystals. I said orbs there, crystals, and then you get forty in the, this one because you get ten and this one is only connected here and that is the way you play the game so go into this jump thing and you need to hit the wolf's head and then this thing comes rolling out and the first one to take it is the winner uh, just like I said the detail on this wolf head is just great I can give you a really nice look around but there is nothing I don't like so there's not much to talk about I just like everything here 
also this target with the blue to contrast with actually the whole set it is just a great thing so I'm really happy to have this wolf hat I'm really happy to have skin it one of my favorite characters and this uh, this speeder thing looks cool to go with it weapons also are characterized for skin it <laughs> normal tube just put that inside there and just nice jumping thing some more chi to add to my collection so i'm really happy to have this one uh, chi chima set there is actually not much i can complain about i think there isn't anything i can complain about i think everything ju looks just nice and nice red ripcord and then that is it for this uh, one uh review so thanks for watching uh don't forget to subscribe to see more lego related stuff like bionicle hero factory and chima both sets and mocks and there's much more coming up um then please like the video if you like the video and don't forget to watch the other ones and then i'll ju just need to say bye so thanks for watching and bye